figured that if I start running, it'd probably help me get my uh, energy levels up. I've been low on energy, not super positive lately. And I uh, just wanted to change something up and boost that up a little bit. Alright, so I've been running for the past like five out of the eight. I've been running for the past five days out of the past eight days, if that makes sense. I don't want to redo this again, so. But yeah, it feels good. Definitely, uh, my endurance is going up. I feel like I'm getting losing weight. I was I'm starting to gain a little weight, and I did. I only noticed because of these videos. But yeah, it feels good right now. So I've been in this mood of just kind of trying out new stuff and just doing the things recently, and it's been really, really great. Like I've been. Running, which has been kind of changing the pace of my life. Like I'm waking up and I'm, I have more energy in the morning. It's just that I have, I'm like really tired at night. But then I've also been trying to shoot different ways with my video, but also with my photography. And uh, I actually got asked to help out with something last week. And the photos that came out for that, super, super cool. And then uh, I also started a podcast. Podcast was interesting though because I started it because I wanted to just ask a bunch of people about how they're doing things in life and just what they're doing to find success and happiness and I wanted to get their advice. Doing things on the side gives you time to kind of create and build something. Am I supposed to look at the camera? Am I, where am I supposed to look? And you know, figured why not just record it so you guys can listen to it too. But uh, I'll leave that link down below. But what's been nice about this whole kind of journey is that the more I do things, the more I've been meeting people, and the more fun things I've been able to do because of those connections. So I went to this thing in Hibiya, it was like the Futsu Janai Ten or whatever. It was a little kind of setup they had about the Olympics and how incredible some of the feats are. Now they got a couple things to try out. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be, but yeah, it was tons of fun. I almost like broke myself though because I was straining too hard without practicing or, I don't know, it was cool. But wait, anyway, also got a haircut. How's it look? I've been told I look like a monkey. The podcast is interesting though because it just lets me really dive into conversations with friends I already have and then just talk about stuff, whether it's stuff I already knew about them or it's stuff I didn't, and then really just get to showcase them uh, to, to you guys. But in addition to that, it, it gives me a little bit more, I guess, like credibility when I ask someone, hey, can I, can I ask you a bunch of questions? When it's in podcast form, now there's like a little bit of value for them as well of uh, if they wanted to use that to kind of uh, introduce themselves or to you know, just get their word out. It's not just me they're serving, it's everybody else, and I think it works out for both of us. The more fun stuff I do for myself, the more interesting people I've been meeting, more cool people I've been meeting, and through those encounters, I've been doing even more cool stuff, and so I just wanna keep that going. But in terms of just kind of takeaways from this, uh, you know, just reach out to people, and have fun, and talk to people, just tell them what you do, because it opens up a lot of interesting doors, at least it has for me. I reach out to people on Facebook, Instagram. It's just fun to meet people. But I'm gonna wrap it up here. Check out the podcast. It's on Spotify right now on Anchor. Can't figure out how to get it anywhere else. But if you're interested, just give it a listen, give it a follow on Spotify, and then just all that other jazz. And we'll kind of go from there. But all right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Peace.